Hello, it's me, Jessica. Welcome in, welcome back to my channel. Uh, today, we are going to do a speed makeover of our legacy family, kind of not really all of them by any means. Um, there are five members in that family now. Um, so we're going to give our heir a teenage makeover because they just aged up in the last part and I was excited to like do a full fledged makeover, right? Um, and then our toddler, because we have one of those, uh, Risky Woohoo. Really, um, I, I have not played with it much because I've only had a PC for about a year now and um, just blessed by the, the risky woohoo gods with the, with the toddler. So um, we're gonna look at their makeover and then just a couple of other little things at the very end. If you watch the legacy play itself, I would recommend you kind of stay for that because um, I'm trying to scrounge up some money. So anyways, on with the makeover. All right, we are in cast and we're gonna go ahead and get going on Mantis here. Um, so Mantis is our Gen 2 heir and I'm really excited to get to play with them. Um, they have the squeamish trait, which is not something that is actually in our family yet. Um, and then they also have the cat lover trait, which they got from their mother. And we got uh, two aspirations whenever I was randomizing his stuff. So we're gonna be a best-selling author uh, coupled with a country caretaker and I honestly I kind of like the dynamic the item I'm not sure if it fluked it said teenage aspiration and adult aspiration so that it was kind of new for me um, I've never seen the the randomizer do that actually um, but anywho I, I like the the process of just kind of showing you guys the makeover um, I don't really think I have much important to say um, at the end, I do have some stuff I'm going to do, and it's not all create a sim stuff. Um, I kind of mentioned that in the intro, so just warning again. Um, but yeah, welcome to my channel if you're new. I hope you guys are doing good out there, and I think I'm just going to let you vibe to some, some tunes now.
right guys we're here and i do want to look at mantis first so we're gonna go in and we're just gonna like peek this is him right now how he looking um let's pull up his everyday outfit so this is going to be one of his everyday fits and originally he had kind of like a, mm -hmm. a dark side to his attire and then he had a bit of a like kind of pops of color side so a little versatile like mm -hmm. you know one that could do both if you will um so i gave him another outfit that was kind of like doing both um i don't know what this is but i really like it he like I think he aged up with these pants on, if I'm remembering right. I haven't watched uh, the speed makeover back in just a minute. Um, as far as like that goes, I haven't, I haven't watched the makeover back in just a minute, so I can't remember if he aged up with these or not. But I think he did. Um, anyways, I I wish that they would do like a next outfit button or something. They've got to be close to it. Um, because it's just very frustrating that you cannot sit oh, sit here on this screen. And, like, I don't think there's a way to cycle through their outfits. I don't know. If you guys know of a way to do that, please let me know. But I have not personally figured it out. It doesn't say it, I don't think. Like it... No. Anyways, um, so now, formal. This is his formal outfit. And the, he aged up with this color pair of <laughs> shoes on. And I just felt like he looked so dapper. I really like the vibes. Um, so there's that one. Then we have this athletic wear. Uh, kind of pops of color. Pink shoes. I thought they matched like the pants. And then like an anime shirt. Uh, just fun. Fun vibes. Um, skipped one. So this is going to be his sleepwear. Um, I was really deliberating on this. Brought some more camo in down here. Um, he's got like a little bubble butt. That's funny. Um, but I just thought something about this, like, yellow, it was, I don't know, I was kind of struggling. A lot of the swatches on this outfit are yeah. kind of a lot. This one's a lot, you know? Um, so I don't know why I wanted to do this. Yeah. Please don't ask me to explain that. Um, but it, it was just giving teenage chaos a little bit and I still like to lean into that I think that is like a great way to differentiate between like a uh, a teenager and uh, like a young adult or a, an adult because honestly they look the same um, and these are adults Mantas uh, is a teen they are Ma Maeve and River they, they're, they're adults whole adults um, okay, a couple more outfits here. Party outfit, really, really like this one. Honestly, I could see this being, like, an everyday outfit. Um, I just spoke something about his energy to me. Country caretaker, rider, squeamish <laughs> cat lover. I, I think that this just needs to, like, when he ages up, I'm gonna make this one of his main outfits. <laughs> Tangent there about that one. Um, here... We have an absolutely adorable, I mean, just absolutely adorable outfit put together for swimming. I'm obsessed with it. The donuts and the hat together. Oh. Um, but the next outfit here um, to like move on, we've got, I, I don't know, he aged up with this hat on. And so I was trying to like kind of work with some of the things that he aged up with, right? Um, so I don't know why I was doing that. Again, don't make me explain. Uh, the onesie he didn't age up with, so I just did that on my own. I went rogue. Um, but the hat, I felt like this was kind of fun. Country caretaker, ROTC vibes, I don't know. Um, so cold weather, little, uh, just again with the kind of grunge and like not really pops of color, but like I liked the like cut at the ankle here and stuff, so I don't know, I just liked this vibe. And then a secondary cold weather outfit. Uh, I like this one a lot. This is maybe a me outfit. I don't know if this is giving him. Uh, it does have some pops of color, right? So, um, I don't know. Um, for a second, I thought that I didn't see Willow and I was about to pass out. I thought that I had deleted her or something. Okay. We didn't. Um, let's just look at her outfits really quick. We've got this everyday 
little number. I didn't give her like multiple outfits because A, not our heir, and B, just a toddler. So she's gonna age up quick, right? So formal, rapid fire. Formal, not a whole lot to see here, but cute. Cute, cute, cute. Little sleep outfit, adorable. And she has two sleep outfits. This is one that she aged up with. And because we saw it and I commented it on it, for Winterfest, it was like Winterfest colors aside from the blue slippers, but I just love the whole outfit as is, because um, I felt like it was kind of monumental at that point. Um, party outfit, in case we throw like a birthday party or anything. Uh, just cute. I thought that was so adorable. Swimwear, little rubber duckies, and a hat with flowers. That's all. A little llama. Need I say more? I'm obsessed with toddlers in this game. They are and will always be some of the best to like dress and play with in that respect. Look, look at this thing. It's so cute. Um, but yeah, this is her cold weather. Again, she's just very vibrant. Um, every outfit is just like fun, poppy fun, cute. Oh my god. I love her. I love her so much. So that's Willow. Um, obviously no aspiration or anything and I made her independent because I'm not playing around. Um, so now we're going to go back into the house for a minute. So if you are not interested in that part of this video, um, then, I, you know, I guess thank you so much for stopping in. But honestly, if you made it this far, you might as well hang out. I'd be kind of surprised. So we're going to go back into the house for a minute. All right, so we're gonna keep it in pause. Um, I'll show off the house really quick, just very briefly, if, um, I don't know, anyone is new just here for a cast video. <laughs> a little cast video, you know? So this is our house we've been playing in. Um, just you know, the, the quickest walkthrough, going back down into the house. I have uh, some stuff that I don't really wanna show you, so, this is the, the overview of the house. I'm gonna be really quick about it. Um, top view, bottom view. So I had to be quick because I don't wanna show anything on that floor. Um, so I think it's down here anyways. I'm gonna have our, um, I, does it matter? This one needs to go in here. That was 13 out of 13. It went in there, right? No. Okay, I was gonna say, was there... Did it go in there? It did, right? It did, okay. Just me struggling. I'm always struggling with this game, I swear. Okay, let's make sure this one is not like, yeah, it's only 121. Okay, open up this one. Because we have... 3400 what do we do we just sell them okay I think that I'm just gonna sell them so here's the deal we did a makeover on the house and I'm gonna post the makeover separately my cat is getting the couch um, so in the makeover separately I have a few more things that I want to do and I've not been able to do them because I ran out of money as you can see down here I'm at 4884 simoleons and I don't really want to spend any more of that without like so that's what we're gonna do um, because we have a vet clinic in this house as well um, in like this let's play what we're doing um, so I really want to invest some money in this because we're going to now that we have a toddler aged up a little bit um, we're gonna get back to playing at the vet clinic some so I just want to, to sell some of these I think is where I'm at I'm gonna I'm gonna sell some of these all right so it's time Yeah, I don't think I need to like unpause it. I think I'm just nervous. So moment of truth, we're gonna 8,300, okay. Normal, normal quality, finely aged. So if they're finely aged, they're aged to the maximum. So 34, 36, 11, 24. 
All right, well, we're just gonna sell all the ones that are finely aged. I feel like this is naughty. I feel like we should, I feel like we shouldn't be doing this. Uh, but we're back up to 20,000. Um, I did that earlier with some stuff that was listed on Plopsy. I was just checking to see how much it would be sold for, right? And then it wouldn't let me sell it. So I hope that doesn't happen there. Um, but anywho, uh, I think that that's all I'm really going to show you guys right now. I don't even want to show you um, out in the, the house because I'm afraid to. Um yeah, I'm afraid. I don't want to show you what I've done in the kitchen. Um, so I'm not going to show you The Sims. I'm just going to show you the outside of the house, tell you to go watch my Let's Play. Um, hit a, a, you know, a like on this, if you would. Um, we've got crystals out front. We've got a barn that we don't have an animal in just yet. We've got a thing that I'm trying to hide from you a little bit there. Um, but then again, I did, I did talk about that one. So... Not like you didn't see that one coming, honestly. Um, that what what is that? You know what I mean. What is that off to the back right? You'll never know, um, but you will know. And stay tuned. Stay tuned for the next part because we're gonna do some things, and I'm really excited. Uh, speed renovation coming for the house, so I can show you everything that I have done. Um, and I think that's it. So I'm going to go ahead and wrap this part up really quick. I hope you enjoyed the makeover of the family. And if for some reason you were here just for a cast makeover and you made it this far in the video, uh, happy to have you. I hope you subscribe and hang out and, um, you know, follow for more, all that good stuff. So, uh, yeah, well wishes out there in the world, my guys, uh, Really hope everyone's doing good, and I will catch y'all in the next part. Bye!